Hello everybody, I'm Erichter and this is another day of LeetCode 30 day challenge. Uh, today problem is contiguous array. Just quickly before that, a few hours after posting this video, there will be my live stream on YouTube, coding live until I hit 100,000 subscribers. Go check it out, link in the description. Now let's do some coding. Given a binary array, find the maximum length of a contiguous subarray with equal number of zeros and ones. It's not a hard problem of zeros or ones, of zero and one, of like alternate. Okay. Let's go like that. And starting from i, I will try to continue for all, as long as possible. So count is initially one, just this number a of i, and I want to continue while i plus one, smaller than n, still within the bounds, and uh, a of i, nums of i different than nums of i plus one. I can continue with this alternate pattern, count plus plus i plus plus. And there is some answer, initially equal to zero. Maximize it with count, block size. And then i is the last element, let's say 0, 1, 0, 1, then something broke a pattern, it's okay. I'm here, and after a moment I will say plus plus. Should be fine. Turn answer. Submit. In a moment I will also do that in Python. Why not? Oh, wrong answer. Output 3 expected to. Uh, I misunderstood the problem. equal number of zeros and ones. I completely misunderstood it. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Okay, change of plans. Mm. This is... So, Sabarai is always difference of two prefixes. Of two prefixes. This is used in prefix sums. So, the fact that I'm... Um, like if there will be Sabarai from L to R, it is related to prefix of r minus prefix of l minus 1. And this can be applied to this problem as well, uh, because I want the equal number of zeros and ones, so, but I prefer to operate with some sums. It, it isn't required about the sum of numbers in an interval. Well, it is. An interval is good if sum of numbers is equal size of interval over 2. But that's hard to... to um, to, to guarantee, to require. Instead, I will change every zero into minus one, and every one into, well, it will remain a one. And now interval is good if and only if the sum in this interval is zero. And that's a more standard problem. Uh, so first, change all the elements from zero to, um, to minus one. If nums of i is zero, Numbers of i is minus 1. As I go, I could modify that, but whatever. And now, uh, what do I do? I want subarray sum to be 0, so the difference of two prefix sums should be uh, should be 0. So two prefix sums must be equal. As I go, let's create prefix sums, why not? Initially just with 0. And then for every element in nums, pref pushback, pref.back plus x. This is a very nice way to use prefix sums. I'm looking in this sequence of prefix sums. Let's take this for an example. If this is the input, minus 1, minus 1, I change nums into that. And prefix sums are 0 for empty, then minus 1, 0, and minus 1. I'm looking for two equal values. Those two are equal at distance 2. And those two are equal at distance 2. So I have two different subarrays of length 2 with sum equal to 0. Remember, sum is equal prefix, prefix of r minus prefix of l, and I want this to be equal to 0. And now as I go through prefix size, I keep some map to know where for the last time, or where for the first time, an ordered map, uh, int, comma, int, first occurrence of a number, 
let's say pref of i, th this is x, if first occurrence contain, if it contains element x, if it is not first occurrence of dot end, then what do we do? Answer is max of answer of answer and my position i minus first occurrence of x. This will be more readable, but I could also say here star of it. Well, else first occurrence of x is position i. Return answer. I don't need this. Pending compilation error. An ordered map, some typo. Yeah. So today I misunderstood the problem first. Accepted. 5.33. I misunderstood the problem first, but I asked you yesterday if in such cases I should re record again, a video again, and you said that no, you prefer it from scratch without preparation, so here you go. Uh, yeah. The complexity of this both space and time is O of n, space and time, that's the complexity, and we convert first zeros into minus ones, then we notice that in that case subarism must be zero, uh, we compute prefix sums and we are looking for two prefix equal prefix sums. All of that can be done actually with single for loop. I don't need three separate parts because I could just do this. Uh, let's try that now in some shorter format. First occurrence, occurrence of zero, let's say is zero. Answer is zero. Uh, is that right? Let's say this. Okay. For every number, there is also some prefix sum equal to zero. Pref plus equal nums of i. Now the same. Find first occurrence. Find prefix sum. If i t is not the end, so if it exists, then answer is max of answer and i plus one minus first occurrence of pref. i plus one is um, the index of this prefix sum. When you I later create a prefix sum, number from position i, the, the prefix sum up to that, is at position i plus one. Alternatively, I could here say that empty sum has minus one as index. So this is alternative way to write it. Uh, let's see if I didn't make any typos. As you see, it's much, much shorter. This time I didn't even create it n. Yeah, what's wrong? Answer semicolon. Output one expected to. Uh, what's wrong? Prefix oh, uh, but if nums of i is zero, then I here want minus one. I I forget about that. Nums of i is zero then I take minus one, otherwise one. This is a ternary operator. I, I forgot to change nums into minus ones. Accepted now. Much shorter code. What about Python? Maybe I will copy paste. Uh, I need what? First occurrence is initially this, I guess. So is zero, prefix sum is zero. I in range n. 
sums. A prefix sum. If nums of i is zero, I don't know if there is is there a ternary operator in Python. Like that. Pref plus equal one if nums of i is equal one else minus one. Go. What do we do next? If pref in first oc first occurrence, then answer is max. I hope there is max in Python like that. Else what first occurrence pref is i plus one. No, I don't need semicolons to answer. Index out of range. This is I wanted to create a dictionary. Curly brackets. This should be hash set. Correct here. And accept it. The, the lesson from this problem is exactly when you see subarray, always think about difference of two prefix sums. It's very, very common that in harder problems this is required. Otherwise, this problem is quite hard. Uh, I'm not sure how to do it without prefix sums. And th this Python solution is also of n space and time. Cool. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in a few hours. Assuming you're watching that soon after publishing. See you in a few hours during the live stream. Bye-bye, have a nice day.